Hey everyone, just going to do a short video segment today about daytime running lights on these avalanches, suburbans, all those. Um, there's a lot of questions about them and I had to learn something about them myself. So your daytime running lights, a little confusing in here because you've got one unit that's got your fog lights and your daytime running lights in it. So let me grab the phone here. So you've got a fog light in here, right here, and this is your daytime running lights. Now, you may think, hey, my daytime running lights aren't working, but you know what? It's hard to check them one per with one person because your daytime running lights will only come on when your vehicle is in drive with these things. Unlike in my 2001 Suburban, as soon as you start it up, the DRLs, or daytime running lights, are on. But these, they don't come on until you put it in gear. I know it's kind of odd, but... So with that in mind, <laughs> I just realized that mine aren't working. So uh, I put them in gear, I put the truck in gear with the camera on, and I got nothing. So let's track it. Uh, because this thing was hit before I bought it, something I was not told about but learned later when I took the front end apart to do these fog lights and found a bunch of broken plastic in there. Um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna diagnose it and I can guarantee you, like the, I'm trying to think of what else it was that was the fuse. Oh, the trailer harness lights, um, the fuse was blown. It's probably the fuse in this as well. So um, it's a perfect opportunity. Let's look at where the fuse is, pull it out and see if it's blown. Okay, one of the easiest ways and quickest to tell if you have a problem is hit your unlock button. And if nothing happens, they stay off. You got a problem. It's in the box under here. Here's your fuse box, right there. You just pop your lid here. You've got a handy guide to which fuses are what. Right here, and we're looking for something that says DRL. Those are my trailer park lights right there for the, uh, for the trailer harness that I did. No idea what a 4WS four, four is, PCM. Trailer backup lights. I think this was the fuse that was causing my whole harness to go out. DRL right there. Oh, wow. There's a relay as well. So you got DRL 10 amp. All right. Uh, let's look at that. Which one is it? in here okay so your daytime running light fuse is right there let me grab the phone right there this is also DRL I don't know why but um, let's pull this guy out and have a look let me get let me get a couple of needle nose pliers I'll be right back my belief is that the, that since I've owned this <coughs> going on uh, eight, nine months. Um, it's blown, okay? So, uh, can you see that? Let me zoom in real quick. See that break in the little metal there? That means it's not working. Let me grab a 10 amp. Hopefully it's not the relay as well. I think that's what that is. Because if it is, I'm gonna have trouble. Don't have one of those. Okay, so here's our blown. Here's our replacement. Now, it's weird. You look at this. Look at how thin that metal loop is in there. It's weird. Huh. So this is a 10. 
let's pop it in and uh, I'll set the camera up as I said uh, I can't tell if they're working I'm gonna have to review the footage um, but yeah they, it has to be in gear oddly enough right Muggsy all right so I'm gonna start it and put it in gear we'll see if they come on hope so So all you gotta do is chop the wheel if you're gonna just put it in neutral to check the lights. And then now just just in case, I'm gonna pull it out from under the car porch because uh the carport may make it think that it needs to turn the headlights on, in which case the daytime running lights will shut off. Now that was interesting because they lit up red. So that bulb that's in there, that's the wrong bulb. I don't know why that it would be red, unless maybe this was a fire truck at some point, which I don't think it was. So I gotta change that bulb. Both those uh, left and right lights, but they do work now. All right, well, this is getting more involved than I thought, because I don't know why this thing has red bulbs in there. They're certainly not supposed to be red. So let's go in, they are LEDs. I'm gonna show you, it's pretty easy to change them out. You just push this tab, turn this, and it comes up. Those are, those are modern LEDs. There's no indication that they are red, but they most definitely light up red. I don't know if I have... These are... LEDs 3156, 3157s. Um, that's so weird. They don't look like they're red. I guess they are red. You can see inside that filament is red. See what I got. I'll be right back. Okay, I found a couple. <laughs> they, they don't look like they'll light up red. These are either tail light or brake light bulbs. Um, you can use either or in this situation. So let me uh, commence to popping these in and then we'll see what it does. Okay, so now that we're done, just a quick, as an added bonus now, when you unlock it, they come on. So that's your quickest way to tell if you have a problem or not. Don't have a problem now. All right, that's it. Um, if you want a diagnosis, as I just showed you, it's pretty easy. Check your fuse, probably the problem. Um, if you want to change these bulbs out, I think it's 3156, 3157 halogens, LED replacements for those. <laughs> don't, don't buy reds. Uh, you can get in trouble for running reds in here if you're not uh, a fire department or police. Um, you can put, I believe you can put ambers in here if you really want to, I don't care. Um, put clears <laughs> all right uh, they're easier for people to see during the day they're very bright especially the LEDs as you saw so hey if you want to uh, diagnose your your uh, daytime running light problem it's pretty easy if you want to swap out your daytime running halogens for LEDs two minutes uh, I'll put a link to where you can buy the correct bulbs for these in the uh, comments and uh, See anything else? I don't think so. So please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And as always, if you want to take on something like this, hey, don't be intimidated. Just go out, get busy. Take care.